A few days ago, rumors regarding the iPhone's SIM card tray came out, suggesting that it might be removed as soon as next year with the new iPhone 14. This is a major change, because iPhones have had physical SIM card functionality since the very first model. In this video, we'll take a look at why Apple might decide to do this, and what the impacts of such a decision would be. To understand why the SIM card tray is being removed, we need to know some facts about eSIM, its replacement. eSIM is essentially a digital SIM card that ties a phone plan to your device without the need of a physical card. Most carriers in the US offer the feature today for phones that support it, but many people still use physical SIM cards. This is mostly because there is no need to switch. Anyone purchasing a new phone will likely still have their old one, along with its existing SIM card. It's much easier to transfer the old SIM card to the new device, which usually allows for the iPhone to work with a cellular plan immediately. There are no disadvantages to eSIM apart from that simple lack of transferability. In fact, once in use, it actually provides better performance for the user. When a physical SIM card is needed for a cellular connection, the connection is not as efficient. Metal contacts must press against the chip, and it can take more energy to maintain this connection if the card is smudged, scratched, or damaged in any way. This often results in battery drain and slower cellular connectivity as the phone struggles to maintain a connection, similar to the slower data transfer speeds of a microSD card when used instead of internal storage. But with eSIM, none of these issues exist. The phone plan is digitally loaded onto the device, which does not require any external contact, and provides the maximum efficiency and speed. The next reason why Apple might choose to rely on eSIM is very practical. The customer gets almost instant access to their cellular plan when they purchase a new phone. Physical SIM cards must be shipped to the customer, and these shipping times are often delayed, aggravating the user that just wants their new phone to work promptly. Doing away with the need to insert a physical SIM card will eliminate these delays by allowing the user to connect to their cellular plan on demand as soon as they unbox their phone. Another problem with physical SIM cards has arisen especially over the past two years. The manufacturing issues and labor shortages that the world has been facing are impacting consumer electronics and their delivery times. If you've ordered anything from Apple's website recently, you might have noticed that shipping times have slipped to three or more weeks in some cases, depending on where you live. This is clearly a result of the pandemic, but it still causes problems for customers that need prompt cellular activation. Even a small SIM card can take several weeks to ship. Therefore, a switch to eSIM could be Apple's way of addressing these issues. The company wants the customer experience to be fantastic, and by offering a fast new way of activating your phone with eSIM, customers will be happier and want to purchase Apple products in the future. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.